We're now going on to item number three, presentation of the Human Rights Campaign Foundation Municipality Equality Index ranking, and um, this is going to be presented by Rand Hawk, founder and um, president of Palm Beach Human Rights Council, Robert Telford, City of West Palm Beach um, coordinator, our government broadcasting coordinator. I want to thank Robert because he did all the legwork on this, um, gathering a lot of information that had to be presented. I want to welcome uh, Tony Plakas um, and Jamie from um, Compass, and um, we're glad you're here. And uh, Robert, you want to go ahead and start? Sure. Good evening, Mayor and Commissioners. My name is Robert Telford. I am the broadcast coordinator for the city. I am also the mayor's LGBT liaison. And tonight, I'm going to do a, a short presentation on the city receiving a perfect score on the 2016 Human Rights Campaign MEI. So the first question is, what is the MEI? MEI stands for Municipal Equality Index. It's basically a rating system, and the MEI demonstrates the ways that many cities can and do support LGBTQ people who live and work there. The Human Rights Campaign has published the MEI since 2012, and the 2016 MEI rated a total of 500, 506 cities. So how were the cities chosen? You had to be one of the 50 state capitals or one of the 200 largest cities in the US or one of the five largest cities in each state or you had to be home to one of the state's two largest public universities or one of the 75 cities that have high proportions of same-sex couples. And finally, one of the 98 cities selected by the HRC and Equality Federation. West Palm, like many cities, do not qualify for any of these categories. So what we had to do was self-submit all our information, all our documents to the HRC and have them review it. So that's what we did this year. We self-submitted and we received the perfect score. There are five categories where cities can attain uh, points for. Uh, the first one is non-discrimination laws. The second is municipality as employer. Some of the uh, examples that we provided include the transgender inclusive benefits that we offer and the equal benefits ordinance. The third category is the municipal services. Examples include anti-bullying school policies within the city and the HOPWA program. The fourth category is law enforcement. And the fifth category is relationship with the LGBTQ community. Some of the examples that we provided include the Indiana travel ban and the brief supporting marriage equality. So here's our scorecard. It's kind of hard to read. But actually, we scored uh, 106 points, 100 plus six bonus points. Uh, but the HRC only counts the first 100. So we scored, a, so <laughs> we should be happy we scored more than 100 points. So nationwide, 60 cities scored perfect, had perfect scores. In the Southeast, only six cities scored 100. Outside of Florida, only Atlanta. And there were five cities in Florida that had perfect scores. Miami Beach, St. Pete, Orlando, West Palm, and Wilton Manors. So why should cities invest in equality? There are many reasons. Uh, these three are all listed on the HRC website. But I believe it's the last reason that makes the, the most sense. It is good business to invest in equality. And that completes my PowerPoint presentation. Uh, when it's appropriate, I'd like to have Rand Hawk come up and say a few words. He and his organization has been fighting for equality since the late 1980s. And without his support, his de determination, his knowledge, it, 
would have taken the city a lot longer for us to achieve a perfect score. So if Rand, if well, Rand got before Rand says anything, Robert, I, I really want to say a special thank you to you because I know that this was not easy um, to gather all of the information. We had a lot of information to submit and, and Robert was diligent in uh, gathering it and submitting it. And so thank you for doing this for us. Thank you. It was a three-year process. We started it back in 2013. Yeah, we did. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Rand? Um, Madam Mayor, Commissioners, residents of West Palm Beach and people who came here from other places, I want to thank you for being so cooperative in recognizing the LGBT community. More than 25 years ago, your predecessors understood that discrimination against the LGBT community was wrong and you were not going to wait for the federal government or the state government or even the county in circumstances to take action to ensure that we are not subject to discrimination and that we are protected. And when you passed the first comprehensive law back in 1994, one of the former city commissioners decided she was going to get the Christian coalition together, they were going to put a recall on it, and she was going to take away a law that you're all proud of, one of the most effective laws that's still in effect today. She did not expect at the time that the mayor, Nancy Graham at the time, uh, was head up the campaign to keep that law. And they did not expect that 58% of the voters of this city would show up at a special election to ensure that the LGBT community was protected. And protection's a key word, especially tonight, because as you know, tonight we have the second reading on a piece of uh, legislation we're asking you to put forward to protect children. And I don't want to go into that and take up a lot of your time because you listened to some incredible testimony last year, last, um, last meeting, and despite all the workbooks and petitions and threatening letters, etc., I believe you firmly understand that one of your responsibilities is to protect children who don't have the right and the ability to protect themselves. So thank you again for everything that you've done, you will continue to do, and we are grateful that you have made West Palm Beach such a great place to live for the LGBT community as well as other minorities and the general population. Well, Thank we're, you. we're very excited about scoring even higher than 100, my goodness. Well, Robert did an amazing job, as you pointed out, Better putting this 100. together. It's not an easy task, and uh, I'm so glad you appointed him as the uh, liaison. A lot of cities don't recognize the importance of having a liaison. You've appointed a liaison from the police department. It's incredible how easy you have made it be for the LGBT community to work with this city. So thank again, you. thank you. Any questions or comments? All right, well, congratulations, and um, we, are, we are really proud to have received this. Thank you.